<clears throat> All righty. Well, good evening, everybody. Um, well, uh, uh, since um, this is kind of a this is kind of an offbeat pseudo cast here. Um, uh, first let me uh, let me go ahead and get this uh, video started. It's all in Japanese. Um, but this is a uh, rain thunderstorm. I just picked the first thing that uh, came up. So. But yeah, it... Again, not a huge fan of this kind of stuff, but like I said, this is just the first thing that came up in YouTube. And, um, I'm also drinking a V8 energy drink, peach mango flavored. But, uh, but anyway... Oh, here, let me, uh, do a sound check. A sound check, excuse me. Yeah, it needs to be turned down a little bit. Okay. But anyway, um, I, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't stream this morning, or this morning. I didn't stream earlier today. Just, body was just pretty much beat up from, uh, work last night. And, uh, you know, plus, uh, all my, um, uh, my sleep was all, like, dream and nightmare filled. You know, when that happens, it's like I hadn't slept at all, so... Basically, uh, I got up a little before, uh, a little before three. Just all groggy and stuff. I'm like, eh, fuck it. Just went in and fired up Twitch and just, uh, just messaged, uh, messaged a bunch of my regulars, letting them know that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be streaming tonight. Or streaming this evening, excuse me. So, but, uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm still, I'm still considering no longer streaming on my work nights. I mean, because this is, this is getting to be a weekly thing with me. It's like, um, uh, just not being able to stream at least once a week. So, like, like I said, but, uh, oh, and, um, uh, before I get too far ahead of myself, those that have seen my, uh, other casts, I'm probably going to be repeating myself here, but, um, uh, I've been, uh, I've been streaming for, for at least four years now, so, old habits die hard, you need it, and, uh, okay, I forgot what I was going to say, but, um, uh, as of recently, I've, uh, knocked myself down to part-time, I'm only working three days a week, so, so yeah, you know, so it's not a, it, to me, it wouldn't be a major deal if I just didn't stream at all during the work week. But like I said, it just, it, it's really hard for me to not stream anymore. And plus, even, even then, it's also getting to where that uh, I'm only streaming maybe like a couple hours at a time now. So, it. Considering the considering the length that I've been streaming these days, it's just less and less worth my while to do so. And um, I think um, it's also to where the only reason why I stream now is just for my regulars. So I mean I don't, I mean I've never been a, I've never been a high caliber streamer. I mean I've never had, I mean I very very rarely have like huge amounts of people on or anything like that. But, so again, the only, these days, the only the only real reason I stream now, one, it's just uh, compulsion. I'm just compelled to do it. And secondly, for my regulars. So, and I think um. And, um, I don't know if this is, a, uh, I can't, I can't help but think that this isn't unique to me. But I'm thinking, uh, overall, I think streamers in general are probably having a harder time of getting, uh, people checking out their channel. I think one of the reasons why is, uh, the way Twitch does ads these days. They have a, they have a new and improved method of sticking them in. Like, uh, they basically, basically, uh, ad blockers don't work don't really work anymore the most or at least the one i use the most it'll do is just hide them i mean they i mean they're i mean they're still sort of kind of stopping them but now what i what happens now is i have to sit here and stare at a black screen for 15 to 30 seconds 
with a little message that says hiding ads. Because, like I like I said, they're um, I think the way Twitch does ads these days is they um, they insert them in in real time. I think uh, kind of like the way uh, kind of like the way they do the ads on YouTube. It's uh, it's predictable. Like they're all automatically placed in, like before the video even starts. They'll place them in at, at various intervals. Twitch doesn't do that now. There's no uh, there's no set amount of time. Again, because they're not um, they're not pre-laid. They're not pre-laid into the or they're, they're not preset. Like I said, they're they're put in and just just like that spur of the moment. So that makes it very difficult for ad blockers to shut it down, to, to shut them down. Excuse me. So, so yeah, I'm, so I'm 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 pretty sure that's probably one of the reasons why. It's all one of the reasons why not as many people, in general, come on my stream, and I'm pretty sure that's true for everyone else. It's just, again, it's the way the Twitch does the ads now. It's just less and less worth uh, people's while to check us out. Um, but, uh, moving right along, I also tried out a new game, a new fighting game called Them Fighting Herds. Already, I'm not into it. It's, it's too much, it's too much like My Little Pony. Something I'm not a real big fan of. When I first fired it up, I'm thinking, I'm thinking you're gonna, there's gonna be, like, there's gonna be bulls, there's gonna be, like, longhorn sheep, you know, there's... You know, there's, there's going to be, uh, oh, how do I put it? There's going to be, like, manly animals in there. You know, like, like I said, you know, or like, like, big old bison, you know, like, that kind of thing. But no, no, it's, I, they're all, uh, they're all, I think they're all female ponies. Female ponies, it's like Skullgirls. It's an all-girl cast, except with ponies. So, yeah, the, that whole aesthetic I am not a fan of. I don't do girly, with few exceptions, of course. But yeah, it, girly characters, I am no fan of. You know, aside from that, though, one thing I did notice, um, it's got a cool story mode, though. Like, um, you know, there's a uh, there's some platforming in there now. Um, there's like a like an open world adventure mode. I think that's the phrase I'm looking for. You know, you just run around and interact with people and that kind of thing. So, um, so this story mode has that. Most other story modes that I see, it's just a cutscene followed by a fight scene, and then a rinse and repeat. You know, it just oh, repeats over and over. And them fighting herds though, there's like some more variety in there. So I do, ha I do have to give them that. Um, it's got kind of a, kind of a retro sounding soundtrack. So I'm beginning to think that uh, this game was actually made with RPG Maker, you know, or made by you know, like the kind of software you can see in a PlayStation 2. Again, stuff like RPG Maker. Um, they might have used uh, I think I had this. Now that I remember, I think I had this back in the 90s on either a PlayStation or a PlayStation 2. It's like a fighting game maker. But uh, I'm beginning to think that them fighting herds was probably made with that very same software, or something, you know, something of that ilk. You know, like is it? This is an indie game. It's not like a triple A title or anything like that. Not a full blown, full, you know, high caliber one. You know, where you have like a massive team of developers. Here, it's probably made with like a small handful. So again, I do have to, I do have to give credit where it's due. I mean. They did, they did some things right, like story mode. But again, aside from that, the uh, the Skullgirls pony version um, aesthetic of it just really, really not my cup of tea. So I'll probably uh, um, I'm leaning towards uninstalling and getting a refund. But I think I only paid like I'll have to look it up. But I think I only paid like eight or nine dollars for the game. So chances are I might end up keeping it as well, so it can go either way. Now, uh, 
Back when I had Guilty Gear Strive and tried it for the first time, that game cost $60 and took up 10 gigabytes on my hard drive. Um, and even then, the game came in kind of pixelated because uh, my computer was having a hard time handling it. I mean, to be fair, Dragon Ball Fighters, my main fighting game at the moment, I mean, it comes in a little bit pixelated as well, but not as bad. But, uh, you know, but again, but, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, I think I paid the same thing, like, seven or eight dollars, and only takes up three gigabytes of hard drive space, so yeah, definitely a keeper. But, you know, on the other hand, you know, on the other hand, again, Guilty Gear Strive, it's a sixty dollar investment. It takes up ten gigabytes of my hard drive, and I, st I basically wasn't satisfied with the product, so yeah, I, so yeah, uninstalled it and got a refund on that sucker. That was a commitment I did not want to make. And e even then, even then, even then, I just thought about this too. Um, as much as I appreciate the fact that the, the soundtrack is rock and metal, and metal music being one of my favorite music genres, the, the metal they were playing, though, is very white bread, very bland. I mean, of the few tracks that I've heard, it's, this, it's the kind of shit I hear at Walmart every night. You know, it's basically new metal. It kind of resembles Limp Biscuit. So yeah, there. I just thought of that. It was another reason why I just went ahead and uninstalled the game and got a refund. For me to play that game, I would I would have had to I would have had to shut down the music and gone with vinyl. You know, play my play right. You know, play stuff out of my vinyl mu out of my uh, vinyl record collection. And even then, out of out of obligation, out of respect for the fact that Guilty Gear was one of the few fighting games out there that plays metal music. I would have had to done an overhaul on my whole uh, my whole vinyl record collection and pulled out all the classic rock and all the classic metal, the metal music that I have, pull all of them out and just exclusively play that. You know, again, out of out of respect for Guilty Gear, out of respect for the fact that the devs decided to do something different with the music. You know, because I'm because I'm pretty sure that because I'm pretty sure that um. Uh, for uh, for uh, a game like Guilty Gear, I doubt seriously you you guys would want me playing Prince. You guys probably won't want me playing Bill Cosby. So I mean, to me that'd be kind of disrespectful to the game in general. You know, if I just started playing, started playing like hippie music. So, so yeah. Again, again. The, Again, Guilty Gear Strive. This is another one of those, uh, another one of several reasons why I uninstalled and got a refund on the game. So, okay. So, at um, at 13 minutes, and I'm at a good stopping point right now, just because um, I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say, and um. I have to leave for work here in, in roughly an hour and a half. So, I'm going to go ahead and just cut it off here because I still need to get this video uploaded and ta all taken care of and stuff. So, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, dropping in and hanging out with me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, and if, and then tomorrow, and then tomorrow, if I, if I don't stream tomorrow, um, then I'll, I'll try to see about doing another one of these pseudo casts. But uh, if not, then I must have streamed tomorrow. So, but but uh, until then, though, everybody, thanks again for coming. Or thanks again for coming by, and see you all next time. Take care.